I got a message for y'all today and it might hit certain people a certain type of way. I don't give a damn because I'm going to get my message off. You can interpret it how you want to and if you want to have your feelings hurt, hey, <laughs> go talk to yourself about it. Today's message is about manhood. There is a pinnacle to manhood. The top level, like when you beat the game of manhood and you are actually the strongest version of yourself that you can be. You only reach that place through a woman and through building a family, period. If you can't build a family with one woman as a man and have that solid unit and be the head of that household and, and lead your family and, and be with a woman that's thriving and happy I think it also has to do with how you run that home. Cause I mean, you can have a home, but if your woman ain't happy, if your kids is all over the place, nah, you beat the game by being the man that can create a family, love everyone properly, and lead through the finances, through, the, through your mind. You know, have a, have a woman that trusts you enough to do that. You know, that's when you, figure out what type of man you are. You don't know what type of man you are until you run into a woman that you love, period. I don't give a fuck what you can do as a single man. You could achieve a pretty significant level of success by yourself as a man. You know, you could be rich, have your own place, even if you ain't rich. You know, you can put yourself into a position where you got your own place, um, got your own car, you're living comfortably, you're doing your thing. Maybe you're out here dating and having sex, cool. You might feel like the man when you're doing that, but you're not. You're not the man. You're not the man. You're a man, you know, we're all men. So if you got a fucking penis and balls, yeah, you're a man, but the pinnacle, I'm talking about the pinnacle of manhood. You will not reach the pinnacle of manhood until you take on a wife and you're able to build a family with this woman. Yeah, that's the pinnacle. All this living single forever or, oh, I could just be your life partner. I don't really wanna have, that. I feel like that's some weak shit. We be avoiding the responsibility that comes with being a man. And we use our experiences as excuses to just pick these weaker routes. You're not gonna find out really who you are. You're not gonna be able to challenge yourself and do the things that we're here to do until you, like I said, take on a wife, have a family with her. Run, like have, have something that you can look at. What else feels better as a man? This is how I know it's the pinnacle because there's nothing better. There's literally nothing better that in my mind that I can think of I don't care what type of success I have in my creative path. I could have all the success in music and, and art, whatever it is. But nothing will make me more proud than to be with the woman I love and to see like, <laughs> look at what we've created together. And look at how me as the man is keeping this shit solid. You know, like making sure we have a bond of love and Honestly, when you're with the right woman, it ain't even something you gotta work too hard to keep intact. That's the thing. Like if, yeah, it's gonna take some work and some learning each other and getting through things together. But when that energy is right, man, like, and that woman is, that woman is gonna need our energy as much as we need hers. Cause just like I'm saying that no man can really be a full man without a woman, a woman cannot be a full man. I mean, a woman cannot be a full. That's funny I said that because a lot of y'all women trying to be men. Get off that shit. A real woman is not going to be able to be a full woman until she takes on a man, a husband. This is the order of life, baby. It is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. You can't beat the game if you ain't in a solid union and building a family. That's how I genuinely feel. And I, I try to be open, I am open, to people living their own lives and how they wanna live it, but the more I pay attention, nothing requires the most of you. Nothing requires more of you in your true gender role than being with a woman as a man, being with a man as a woman, 
and creating life together and building a family. There's nothing better than that. That's why they say family over everything. Family, family. It's about family. It's about love first. You got to love. You got to find the right type of love so that you can build that solid family. And that's a really big issue is that we creating children with people that we not building families with. We got to stop creating children with people that we don't want to build families with because it's not... That's not the pattern that we want to be on in this world, in this life. You know, like, and the goal should always be to have that unit. People want it. People act like they want it, but they're not doing the inner work within themselves to be able to show up to that. And it's okay. Sometimes we're going to, we ain't going to get it right. You know, life is about learning, but you got to keep flowing and always be open to bringing in that new energy. If you're a woman and you have kids, don't ever shut yourself off from finding a man. Don't ever feel like you can't find what you want to find because you got kids and you're making the whole world about them. Nah. No. Because it all starts with you and who you choose to be with. You owe it to yourself as a mom, as a dad, as a man, as a woman to show your future offspring the best version of you. And the best version of you is in a situation where you are loved and you are loving unconditionally and, and with all the energy in you, a love that brings the best out of you, not a love that drains you, because that's not love. Don't be chasing love to the point where you can't see what it's doing to you. If something's clearly draining you, then why would you try to convince yourself that it's something that you need? No, keep moving around. Love yourself more. We got to love ourselves more and stop being desperate and stop moving off this shallow shit. Everything is sex, 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 sex. You know, people feel like, oh, people got this thing where they want to be free. They want to live free lives. But all I see is a bunch of people that just want to have a bunch of sex and not have no, you know, primary commitment to anybody or anything. And I just think the more I look at it, you know, that ain't really the route that brings the best out of you. You might be happy with that. And that's fine. You want to live the rest of your life and be happy with that lifestyle. But if the goal is to be our best self. That's my point. You don't get to that best self until you face the thing that requires the most of you. And until you beat that, nah, you ain't beat the game. You ain't beat the game of life. You ain't reached, you haven't evolved to your final form. <laughs> a lot of y'all are okay with reaching a certain form. Like you, you ain't in your final form, but you got to level Let's say it's like 20 levels of evolution. Yeah, you got to maybe level 12 and said, fuck it, I ain't really trying to beat the game. <laughs> I'm going to just chill right here. That's your choice. My opinion doesn't matter. Nobody's opinion really matters. But if it's your goal to be your best self, I'm standing on that. You're not a real man. You're not a full man until you can take on that woman you love, man. That's, that's just it. That's it. And I'm speaking from experience. I see the type of man that I'm becoming because of the love that I have for chocolate. There's a certain energy that a woman, that the right woman will bring out of you that you will not be able to bring out of yourself. And that doesn't make you less of a man. Why do, why do people feel like, oh, you should be able to, you should be able to be a real man by yourself and then take on a woman. No, that's not how the shit works. You're not a full man without a woman. That's just it. How, how am I going to be the full version of myself if I don't have a woman that I can, you know, look at and say, this is my woman and I have to love her and protect her and provide for us? Your best self is always going to come when you have to think about more than your own desire, your own dream, your own idea of who you think you are, who you want to be. It's always deeper than just you. So that's why it starts with the woman, because we can't have kids without the woman. And we're here to reproduce, right? Like we're here to keep life going. So you have to find your best self through the woman that you can reproduce with. That's why we have to be more picky and choosy and more smart with who we are connecting to and choosing to have sex with, to possibly have kids with. It has to be deeper than this physical bullshit, man. Life is more than just good feels. I want people to use their mind more. And I'm not perfect. I'm not on here saying that I've made all the best decisions in my life. But I see what's happening. I see. And every decision I make, I'm trying to make the next one 
not a decision that makes me necessarily feel better than I felt before, but the decision that's going to make me better. And in order to become better, you need to go through some shit that's going to require more of you. And there's nothing better to do that than to be with a woman. I don't even care if it's a woman you don't love. A woman's energy is here to push a man to his best self because her presence alone is going to make you want to do more. That's just what it is. It's going to make you want to be the full man that you need to be. And I'd be seeing too many men talking shit about, oh, I don't need a woman. What kind of weak ass shit is that? I really question a man that has that mentality that you feel like you don't need a woman. That tells me you ain't really trying to be a man. What kind of man is going to say they don't need a woman? She literally has the reproductive organ that you need to make life go on. And you don't need her? And I'm only focusing on men in this video, but it's vice versa. Same thing with the women thinking that they don't need men. This applies both ways. We need each other. And the more we look at each other in that way, in that light, we'll be able to build better relationships, stronger relationships where we respect one another because we realize we need each other. We literally need each other to make this life go on. We can't do it without the other. Yeah, go try to make a baby by yourself. Good luck with that. <laughs> We can't do anything of real substance. Like we could live a partial life without the opposite sex, without building a family. I'm here to do the full thing, man. I really just want men to know that does not make you a weak man because you can say, I need a woman to be my best self. You're not supposed to be able to do that by yourself. I'm, I'm not with that narrative. It does not make you a weak man because you can honor and respect a woman for the role that she should play, which is in guiding you into your best self, her presence. And you should want to find that as a man. And when you find that, you found the best thing you could find. And you're going you're gonna to see parts of yourself that you didn't even know was going to come out. I feel like a lot of men just haven't found a woman that they love enough. The ones that do have that weak mentality, you just ain't found a woman that you love enough to push you to be the best man you can be. Nothing will inspire a man like a woman. Facts. It's big factuals. Cause no matter what lifestyle you live, building that family is what people really aspire to do above anything else. It's always that family. You know, you need a man and a woman to create a family. So what that tell you, man? You need that energy to Bring the best out of you. And for the people that don't want to have families, again, that's fine. You just missing a very key element of this life. Yeah, everybody can make the decision that they want to make. Um, I just think you don't really know the full version of yourself until you're in a situation that you can have a family. <sighs> that don't mean you can't live a a certain quality of life and be happy. Again, I'm just speaking my perspective. I'm passionate about this because I see, I see the value in it, you know, and I, I believe in it, really believe in it. And I had a, I had a short time period where I wasn't believing in marriage and monogamy, but now I'm like, the only reason I didn't believe in it is because I didn't believe in myself. I didn't believe in myself enough as a man to be able to withstand the pressures that come with being with one woman, you know, but that pressure is nothing. As long as you are picking the right one, as long as you with the right person, you can take on anything, literally. And that's the best feeling in the world. And I want everybody to be able to feel that. If you genuinely want to find that, I want you to know that you can find that as long as you stay open to it and you keep focusing on your self-development and becoming your best self, you will be able to find a partner you will be able to have that and it's nothing like having it <clears throat> it's nothing like having it and being inspired by it and growing with this person I want that I've always wanted it and I went through a short time period where I tried to lie to myself like I didn't want it but the truth is always gonna come out the truth is gonna always come out and I'm always gonna be open to the truth, no matter how hard it is to face, 
because we all deal with past traumas and things that didn't work and trauma can never outweigh the truth and the truth is you want what you want because <laughs> you want what's going to make you better not just what's going to make you feel good because we we all know we're here to do something a little bit more than just the fun we're here to do something very important 